In this video, we just want to demonstrate a new function or new option when you're creating um, profile sheets and your profile sheets are going to include drainage data. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open up the name boundary and show you the new option here. So I'm going to bring up the place name boundary tool um, and I'm on the place profile, civil profile name boundary. And go ahead and select a drawing seed there. And the, the function that we're going to look at is the whole conduits only. So this, as the tooltip says, it creates boundaries that do not split the conduits. So we'll turn it off for now. And we'll go ahead and select this particular um, profile. And I'll start the, I'll start it at, let's say, minus five. Um, so the first one will be, you know, to the left of the first node. Um, and as you can see, as I pull to the right, um, you know, it goes ahead and creates the name boundaries. Um, I'll go ahead and adjust the um, scale as well, so we get a few more. But you can see here, as I demonstrate, you know, you can see that the pro the um, profile name boundary ends in the middle of a conduit. So both for the first one, the second one, third one. A little bit closer, but um, but still ending in a conduit. So I'm going to flip the whole conduits only on. Okay, and now we'll pull it through. So you'll see here it puts the first one. It stops at the right edge of the of the node at the end of that last conduit. And as I the next the next one will start to the left side of that same node. And as I pull through here, you know, I'll just go ahead and pull to the end. Um, you can see, if we zoom in, that each time it will it will end the um, it'll end one at the outside of the node, and then it'll begin the other one on the inside of the node. And so you can see that for each of the conduits. So that's what that option, um, whole conduits only, will get you.